Alright people, welcome back to another video guys. As you guys may know, the new Lenovo Legion Go Space update came out. It's an overall UI and this makes everything so much better guys. Everything is more smoother, sleeker and I love it guys. And let me know if you love it as well, if you already updated. But now I'm just going to give you a few tips and run through the new updates and show you what's going on. And this new software guys first if i go to top left this is the little hub right here we could sign in and then you can get all your help desk stuff right so you got auto center switch account log out help center and online support so if you need any type of support guys this is where you would come and you can get it directly from here so you don't have to go in the quick menu again but it's all up to you if you made any order as well you just go in here and you see all your order stuff here is also your screenshot will show up in here so if you took a screenshot you could see it directly in here and get it right from here guys now let's go to store in store this is the new store i'm not sure why the artwork is still not showing up for me because even on old space that i had before this update the artwork wasn't showing up for the games for me but this is it right here guys if you purchase game from here this is where you come and you can purchase from here you don't have to get games from here you could go to each launcher if you want like xbox epic game in one of those and you can download games directly from there and they'll st still come into space as you can see a little artwork up here and it's so much more smoother too like everything like everything just feels smoother guys look at that and it looks a lot better i would say now if you go to library in library this is where you see all your games that you downloaded on your system and it looks so much sleeker all the colors and everything it pops a lot more I don't know if it's just me, but let me know what you think down below, guys. Drop a comment. Tell me what you think about the new update. If you look top left on game platforms in here, this is where you could get all your launchers. You got the basic ones that everyone knows. You got Xbox, Epic, Ubisoft, Steam. Then you got some more down here. These are not all of them. You could also download any one that you want. It's a website. Once you go to Google, you download it. It'll show up in here, guys, once you get it. Now, if you download a game and it's not showing up in here automatically, you could just hit refresh. If that doesn't work, you could add the game as well. You just press add. You come in here and you get to select the game and add it to space. Also, it's not only for games, guys. So if you have any app you want to add into space, you can add it in here, launch it directly from space. So that's a good feature as well to have. I said for that. Now, if you go to settings, now you're going to get, we know we're getting to all the good stuff. So all the main stuff that they came out with, with this update is in here in settings and controllers, right? So once you get in here, first thing you'll see fan, CPU, GPU, so any overheating issues, you'll come in here. And it shows you the temperature for your cpu your gpu and then you could also check your fan speed to see what's going on if it's actually working to keep the system cool or not now if you look down here you'll see see five tabs performance display audio discs and drives and also general first if you come to performance right you'll see in here you can make a custom performance for each layout for each game or if you just want to make it just to have it and then you can switch it off rip in the quick menu so in here in custom one you could use all the presets that's here already or you could make a custom so let's say you're playing elden ring helldivers but you want to have a specific tdp for helldivers you come in here you make it you could switch the tdp from directly from here you come down you could switch the fan speed or you could do a custom here you could also do a F fps limiter so you could limit your fps from here if you're not trying to make that game go over a certain amount or if you know your system can't handle a game to push it over a certain amount of fps you come in here you can set it up off from here and then once you switch the profile it would automatically give you all these settings guys then you got os pod mode you could change this for efficiency balance and performance but i best say to leave it in on efficiency because that's the best one to have it on so that your system is more efficient and it gives you more power towards the game which goes to the tdp and as i said give you better performance while playing your game depending on what game you're playing now if you go back you got display and display this way it could change your resolution also your refresh rate scroll down a little bit then you could also see radiant super resolution on and off directly from in here if you if that's your feature now if you go back again go back to audio you can mess with your volume from in here as well 
Also the microphone, with my microphone I got the Yeti microphone attached so showing that one so you could mess with that well and make sure it's to your liking and then your speaker, Realtek audio which is built into the Legion Go. Now into this and drive, you'll see your SSD, how much storage you got left, how much you're using and also if you're trying to find your drivers and see where you can get updates from, this is where you would come. It might be a little bit hard to find, but it shouldn't be that hard to find. Right, once you're reading and you see disk and drive, this is where you would come. Once you click on this, it will do, do its little spin and try to find any updates that's available for you to download, guys. When you go back now, when you go to general, this way you get all your small stuff like pref select preferred language, 24 hour clock. So also boot up automatically into space. I got that off. I don't like when space boot up for me. Uh, power button lights and then optimize battery percentage. So you set it at 80 so that it doesn't overcharge the system and it gives you a longevity in your battery life. Download path, screenshot, shortcuts, screenshot folder. When take a screenshot, shows notification, grab that on. Then if you scroll down a little bit, it will show your current version. So the current version that we're on right now, 1.1, 2.11. If you click on this about right here, it shows you that little screen that gives you the version and also your license agreement. That's basically it for here, guys. All right, so next, when you go to controller, all right, so this is what everyone been so excited about, like the animations and everything for this right here is so smooth and neat. As I said before, this is what they should have released the device with when it just came out. This Legion Space is amazing guys so if you go to the first tab right here which is button mapping this is where you see all the button maps you did already so this is one i did earlier so you could click and view edit layout then you can see all the stuff that's in here you could do front rear and you can map it like that let me go back and see if i create a new one show you guys what's going on you could also do it with fps mode as well that's down here at the bottom So once you go in, you click on the one you had, then right here, add template, make a new name, and then that's how you make a new one. And then you could edit that layout for that controller settings, and then you could set it and put it so that whenever you want to switch it, you can switch it off rip in the quick menu, which I'll show you in a minute, guys. So right now I'm on JH, that's the one I use because I mapped the buttons, which is M1 in the back for L divers and also map the other ones for other stuff that I do in the game. So just like that, that's how I could do it. It's similar in how you do it before on the old space. So you just click on each button and then select it like that. So let me show you real quick. You just go in here, you hit, click on it, you click a new new one, then you just create a name, hit confirm. Once you select it, go back. Now you're selected which is JH3, you go to view layout. And here, you go to the front or any, or even the rear, it's up to you. Then you click on what you want, what you want to change. You see you want to change this. You can go to controller, mouse, keyboard, notepad, key combinations, and then you would press what you want it to do. Whenever you press that button, and the, the controllers, it would actually do that command for you so that's good same as before and how you do it on the old space so no big difference right there let me make sure i change this back to the one i had before so all the way back now you go to joystick slide and here you got three different combinations you can mess with if you go in here you change from two three arc off when you go in here you could change the effect as well you could change it from blinking dynamic colors or anything like that spiral rainbow and that's how you do it then in here you could this is where you could change the color as well and every time you change it in here it also affects your menu right here your quick menu so let's say i change it to blue if i go to quick menu now everything is blue in quick menu so that's a great little touch right there to get to give you that immersion and make it the device looks to your preference, right? You could also mess with the brightness that's in here as well. If you want to do that, I'm going to go back here. Slightly blue, purple. 
right there is good now when you go back you got joysticks dead zones and here this way you could change the dead zones just like before I have it on like one or two so that's the best dead zones thing you don't want to have it on zero because that's be that would be a little bit too much like so two three between there is a perfect dead zone fix for you if you got it all the way up that's not fixing anything guys so you want to make it have it as low as possible so three is the sweet spot between between one and five is the sweet spot so i'll leave it at two because that's my preference go to trigger same thing with trigger you can mess with this as well so you just got to hold this you can't even do it with a mouse you got to use the finger and then you could change it like that and adjust the the trigger to your liking now we go back again you go to more and here this way you would see all your small stuff settings like your vibration strength controller mode test input so you, if you want to test your input you go in here and then you could see you make sure all the buttons are working press each one of them and make sure it's good this way you also enable your touchpad controller hibernation function shortcuts keys in here uh switch button layouts where you could switch like your buttons right here to switch to how you like it controller battery status for the controllers controller firmware updates in here and then current controller versions are in here as well so that's about it for legion space so let me just get into the quick menu and then i'll show you what's going on guys all right so now for quick menu if you go to the top one remember when i created the custom tdp so this is where you go and select it if you want to switch it off rip while you're playing your game if you go down you see performance monitor right here as well that shows you cpu gpu vram and ram you got your tdp if you want to change it if it's the custom is not good for you and you want to put it up a little bit within that custom then you can do it right here you got your fan speed fan curves in here as well you got your fps limiter if you want to turn it on from here as well then you got your os power mode which i said before efficiency is the best one to have it on so that more power goes towards your games go to the second bracket right here you got your brightness speaker bluetooth wi-fi all your good stuff then you also got the screen resolution refresh rate and also your frame monitor right you turn it on and off from right here so as i can confirm it should be working our video should be playing right now while i'm playing a game and it should show you that the fps should be working properly and it should be good from now on today as i as they said before i think whenever if you download any amd drivers directly from amd website this should automatically work and it won't break the fps limiter so we should be good from now on fps monitor right also you could turn on radiance resolution from here right here as well if you go to controller and here this way you could change the profile so if you made any different type of profiles for the controller you can select it from in here guys also you could view the layouts if you forgot any buttons what they do just view layout and then i'll show you what's going on scroll down control vibration uh lighten effect from here as well touchpad touch by vibration control hibernation if you go to the gear icon all right so this right here is awesome quick functionality you could do you got a screenshot alt f4 wi-fi so everything that you had before is here guys the most famous one is screenshot come in here to quick screenshot real quick and you're up and running guys if you go right here you got productivity mode right so this is for your external display so if you want to set your external display as primary this way it would come and select it if you're an external display type of person and you use that then this screen is for you if you go to the question mark this is your help center again same thing like before in legion space but it's like a smaller version of it like give you like quick access but best to go directly in space and they get a lot more information guys so you got help center user manual online support lenovo diagnostics uh legion community forum and contact us bottom left you got a new start button right so now you can put it asleep restart shut down exit or cancel directly from your quick menu so if you want to turn off your device you do it directly in here instead of going all the way in windows and turn off like that or just holding the power button turn off guys so yeah guys so that's basically it this space update is great i would say as i said before this is what they should have launched the system with it's so smooth nice all the animation is spiffy 
and down to point so all these features that are here they've been here before but it's just more simplified and the look and the aesthetic is way better so yeah guys thanks for tuning in and as i said before hit that like button if you like what i'm posting sub to channel for more awesome content guys and let me know what you think down in the comment section down below and remember to always say guys health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys